Hi, and welcome to Cooking with Carlina. On today's episode, we're gonna be making Sweetheart Valentine Cupcakes. Are you guys ready? Let's get started. This recipe was inspired by my best friend back home and I decided to make chocolate cupcakes because she loves chocolate. And then we both love sweethearts around Valentine's Day so I incorporated that as well. And I wanted to share this with you guys as my fans because I think of you as family. First, you're gonna get one cup of flour as you can see in this bowl. And then you're gonna put 3 fourths a teaspoon of baking soda, not powder, soda. So you're gonna put that in there. Then you're gonna take one fourth teaspoon of baking powder. Here's the powder part, guys. Don't mess it up. And then you're gonna put a half a teaspoon of salt. And we're just gonna wanna mix that in there in this first bowl. All right, guys, we're gonna make my favorite part, the chocolate to go in the chocolate cupcakes. First, you're going to take one third of cup of unsweetened baking cocoa. Don't do what my little brother did and when you take chocolate chips and try to melt it, that's gonna mess up the recipe. Don't do it. Just go buy the baking cocoa. It's really cheap and you'll save some time. So you're gonna pour that into the saucepan with a half a cup of boiling water. When you pour that in, just stir it until the mixture becomes nice and chocolatey. In a completely separate bowl, you're gonna take 3 fourths cups of sugar and then put in a half a cup of melted butter. One egg. And then for flavoring, you're gonna put in a half a teaspoon of organic vanilla extract. You're then gonna mix this together. And then finally, my favorite part, you're gonna combine these two bowls into this mixture. Finally, remember the hot cocoa that we mixed earlier? We are going to add that to this mixture. So, just gonna put it in. While mixing, make sure to mix it on low and in a circular motion because this is the best way to get your batter nice and thick. After mixing, you're gonna take two spoonfuls of your batter and put it into the cupcake sleeve. With chocolate, you only want to fill the cup halfway, not all the way like you would with a vanilla cupcake. Once finished, you're going to put it into the oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit and let it bake for 20 minutes. <laughs> While the cupcakes are baking, you're going to make your amazing white chocolate to go right in the center of these cupcakes. So you're going to take the pan, put it on medium, and pour three cups of white chocolate into the mixture. Then you're gonna pour a half a cup of milk. And just stir until it gets nice and hot. And then set it aside and let it sit until your cupcakes come out. And then we're gonna put it into the cupcake decorator piping tube so we can start decorating. Now that we've taken the chocolate cupcakes out of the oven, we're going to pipe them with white chocolate that we melted earlier. All you're gonna do is put the piping tube in the center of the cupcake, pour in the chocolate, and let it fill. 
Finally, you're gonna put a sweetheart on top of the hole to, deck, to cover it. And that's it. You can just decorate it how you want, maybe add a scoop of ice cream, drizzle chocolate on it on the side, it's up to you. Good luck. Next, we're gonna make a shrimp cocktail sauce for you and your perfect date. First, you're gonna get some cooked, deveined shrimp with the tails off and put them along the rim of the bowl. To help them stay, just cut a little slice with a knife and stick them on. I get it. Oh, they're so cute. <laughs> Oh, little baby shrimp. Okay, you're gonna do that all around the bowl. Pretty much, you get the idea. Then you're gonna take two cups for your amazing cocktail sauce and then put in two teaspoons of horseradish. Oh, well, you get a spoon. One tablespoon of lemon juice. And then finally, two teaspoons of horseradish sauce. And you're just gonna mix it very, very well. And then you're gonna put it in the bowl. And there you go, you're gonna have an amazing shrimp cocktail for you and your date. Enjoy! Finally, we're gonna make an amazing Valentine's Day smoothie to end your Valentine's Day night. You're gonna start with two cups of ice. Put it into the blender. It's okay if it falls on the table. This table's clean, just pick it up and put it back in. And then you're gonna do one cup of sparkling cider. It's so good. Two teaspoons of organic, organic vanilla extract. And then finally, you're gonna cut up 10 nice juicy red strawberries into vertical pieces like this. And they're gonna be nice red and juicy and you're gonna put it in the blender. Finally, the most important step, you're just gonna blend it. And this is amazing. It's so, so simple, easy to make. It's a nice treat to go with your cupcakes and your shrimp cocktail. Mmm. Finally, put it in a cute little Valentine's Day cup. And you're ready to go. For this recipe and my other recipes, go to my website, www.cookingwithcarlina.com. I'll see you guys there.